Brother Kephart, what would you like to say to somebody listening today who has lost a loved one? Maybe another military family who's lost a, a child or a spouse, um, a gold star family, or maybe somebody else who's lost a child, a spouse, a close friend. But what comfort would you offer our listeners? I'm going to answer that question in this way, uh, Pastor Crockett. Uh, I'm going to uh, say uh, some things that people have said to us that have been a help and an encouragement to us. Uh, for example, um, I stood at Jonathan's casket with a friend, and I asked her this question. I said, how can I thank my son? for what he did mm. in giving his life for his brothers and sisters in arms. And this is what my friend said to me that day. My friend said, he would want you to go on. Mm. And I believe that with all of my heart. And I would say that to those that have lost loved ones. Your loved one would want you to go on in their absence. I would also like to say that Jonathan uh, will always live in our hearts. Even death cannot take him from us. He will always be there. I will say this, and I believe it was mentioned uh, somewhere in the program, but it's true. He was where he wanted to be. He was doing what he wanted to do. And I know with all of my heart that if he had it to do over again, he would do the very same thing. And those are a couple of thoughts that I would say to those that have had the experience of facing the loss of their loved one. You know, Bert, my heart's touched here today hearing you. And we said on the program, uh, my wife Nancy and I have a son who is in the military and... Um, I know how difficult it was even to plan his funeral, but in as in your case with Jonathan, our son knows the Lord Jesus Christ as his Savior, and if we'd ever hear those uh, terrible words, we know that he would have been promoted into heaven. And so, you know, it's sort of an emotional thing for me even to be talking with you about this on the program today. But there are no doubt many listeners out there today who are struggling emotionally simply because of the fact that they have lost a son or a daughter in the military, maybe as the result of a wartime incident or maybe even a peacetime incident in the sense of just many times people are killed in training. What kind of a word would you have for them today, a word of encouragement, a word of challenge that in some way, shape, or form might be a blessing to them, Bert? I would say uh, what... The Bible says what God says in his word concerning uh, the wonderful promise of eternal life um, after death. Second uh, Corinthians 5 eight to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. First uh, John chapter 2, he has promised us eternal life. First uh, John chapter 5, God has given to us eternal life. Verse 13, that ye may know that ye have eternal life. Heaven is real, and so is hell. And if you don't have the peace in your heart of knowing that you are going to be in heaven with the Lord Jesus when you leave this world, I would challenge you and I would ask you to please read in the Bible the book of 1 John and mm -hmm. read the promises that the Lord gave to us, mm -hmm. to those who acknowledge that they're sinners and that they need Christ and that call upon him and accept him into their heart as their personal Savior. Mm -hmm. I would encourage them to please seek the Lord in his word and find him, uh, find the wonderful experience of having your sins forgiven and a home awaiting you in heaven like I did when I was 22 years old mm. so many years ago when I accepted Christ as my personal Savior. That's a great admonition to give to people because it's important 
that people know the Lord and that there is salvation and the forgiveness of sins and the reality of heaven through faith in Christ. But I also just want to throw out another verse, Bert, to those who may be going through uh, this themselves personally. And that's Psalm 46, one. I've used it many times where it says God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. He is there to give all the strength, all the comfort, all the wisdom, all the guidance that we need when we go through a time of difficulty, like losing a loved one, a father, a son, a mother, whatever the case may be. And uh, Bert, I thank you very much for sharing with us today.